Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to bring to you guys a new subscription service. Well, it's newer to me. I feel like it hasn't gotten a lot of um, publicity, I guess, as much as the birch boxes, the glossy boxes, the ipsy bags, and all that kind of stuff. So I have had past experience with birch box. I do currently have an ipsy bag and this product is called the lip monthly bag and this is very much catered to the people who love lip products. It is ten dollars. Um, I do have a code. Um, I'll put it in the bottom bar. It's for everyone. This is not like a refer referral code. If you want to use my refer referral link feel free. If you don't want to you don't have to. It's earning points but like I said, it, there's no pressure on that. And this code is not like person specific. It's a general code that anyone who signs up can actually get. So it's much like Birchbox and Ipsy where you can purchase multiple month subscriptions or you can just purchase the month by month subscription. The more you buy like the full year subscription, I believe there's a slight discount. Month by month, it stays at $10. Um, I pretty much, I had heard of this through... Um, a bunch of YouTubers a good few months back, but I haven't heard anyone else talk about them. I think I've seen like one or two reviews floating around YouTube, but pretty much kind of gone. And um, I have, this is the second, first off you get it in a mailing envelope like this. Um, I do have one other lip monthly bag. It was last month. I was planning on doing a review. I actually did a whole video on it. And then I just never had a chance to upload it. So if you want the upload of it, I can do it. It was a little crit critical about the bag. Overall, I only I think I only liked two products genuinely from the bag. You usually get five products. Um, and I was a little critical about the website, how a few things were set up, which I think is a good way of feedback because now I noticed on their website they did change a few things so if you still want me to upload that please let me know in the comments section um, I'll definitely do that I think I had purchased like a several month subscription to them so I figured why not let's give them a whirl just until January and we'll see what that goes with so you get this type of mailing envelope and then oh there is no um, quiz that you take it's pretty much they put it together for you, although I have heard that they are planning on um, creating like a little quiz system so you can get your preferences put together. You get this very, very cute bag. The size of it is great. Printed on both sides. It does have the Lip Monthly um, logo on the bottom, but it's not like, bam, you know it's Lip Monthly. Really cute. Um, you get a card that kind of explains that. So remember to stock up. Um, pretty much it's November is already here, which means that we're very close to the holiday season. That's why we decided to send you some great dark colors to pair up with those glam parties you'll be soon attending. You'll love the richness of these autumn shades, which have been highly requested. Every girl needs a great lip brush for a flawless application, and Lip Monthly has you covered this month. Most, as most of you know, every month we include a monthly mix-up product, which is a great non-lip product that we feel you'll love. This month's is amazing. Keep us posted with how you like everything in this November 2014 bag. We love getting your feedback. XOXO, Lip Monthly Team. What I really like also is these are full-size products that they send you. And they have the prices listed here so you know what the value of your actual bag is. I think that's great, especially for a company that's sending you the full size, not the mini size. You really get a chance to understand what is it worth. So the first product here is the Ofra Lip Liner. Let me go dig in for that. Okay, here we go. Ofra Lip Liner full size, and it's $13. So I have had from Ipsy, I believe I had the Ofra Brow pencil. I have not tried that yet. But this is the lip pencil. It's in the shade Silk. That's what it looks like. We're going to swatchy swatch. So it's a very nice nude color. Um, nude natural. I think that's quite pretty. Um, it is a creamy pencil so it's not very hard. Um, I like it. We'll have to see how that goes. And it closes very tightly so it doesn't escape out. Next is the Hikari Lipstick. Hikari, Hikari. Not sure. It's, it looks like it's in the shade Cabernet. 
So it comes like that. Kind of looks like a MAC product. I don't know. Kind of remind me of that. Okay, this is the actual container. And then, yes, Cabernet lipstick. Ooh, that is a pretty shade. So this is what the bullet looks like. Nice amount of product in there. Let's see. And the Hakari lipstick is also $13. So that stuff ain't cheap. It's like a, It really is like MAC price. So that's that lip color. It's quite pretty. It's not full on red. It's not like full on plum. I think I'll use this maybe once or twice before Christmas. Uh, next product is the NYC Expert Last Lipstick. The full size is $1.99. And what I do want to say also is the prices that they're listing here are like the lower end prices because I've seen some places when they say like, oh, the NYC lipstick is like $3. And maybe it is in some areas, but they actually go by the real price. Now, if I can only open these danged plastic wrapped things. I never figure out how to whoop, open that. As I struggle. Ha ha! There we go. <laughs> this is in the shade Bury Me. Aw. So this is the color. Let's see doesn't really smell like anything. The bullet. Let's see. Let's see. That is quite creamy. That's the color right there. That's very pretty. I'm actually pretty impressed. It doesn't look, there's a sheen to it, but it doesn't look like there's shimmer in it. So that's that lipstick. The next product is the Crown Lip Brush Full Size is $3. So that does come in handy. I mean, I'm not a lip brush person per se but I might be getting into them so that's what this is it's very very soft like I might actually not even use this for lips and just pop this in for something for my eye brushes and then lastly is for the monthly makeup mix up makeup mix up yeah monthly makeup mix I'm trying to like remember what that little thing stood for. It's the City Color Cosmetics White Gold Shadow and Highlight Mousse. The full size is $4. Now, if you're an Ipsy subscriber, you've already received this product. And if I can... These packagings are like end-of-the-world proof. Let's see if I put scissors in here. Now that I have a pencil. A, not a lip pencil, thankfully. I'm not gonna. I'm like butchering this thing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, this is the same product you probably received in your Ipsy bag if you received it. But, I mean, it's no biggie. There's the stopper. I'm gonna have issues now with everything. And then the full size product. I will actually have a little product in here. This is really, really, really pretty. I've had a chance to play around with this. Very smooth and oh, it's right here. So it just kind of creates this oh, it's so pretty. It's like white in one way. And then like when it catches, this would be beautiful on the eyes, just all over the lid, little crease color. I think that would be so pretty. Although they say highlighting mousse, so you could essentially also use probably a stippling brush, tap it in there, and stipple onto your mm -hmm. face. And then, lastly, in the bag, there is the little $5 off. So it says, know someone who would love a, lip, a monthly treat of lip and beauty products? Give them this card for a special $5 deal on their first month with free shipping. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the bag is $10 and the shipping is included in that price. Um, the coupon code, which I will just kind of hold up for you guys to have a good chance to see, it's Holiday Lips. So feel free to use that. Go ahead, go try it out. I think it might be nice. Um, so it just brings it the price down to $5. It's the one month subscription for that and 
and it's just something fun to try. Now last month I was a bit disappointed. I was not happy with the colors that I received. This month I'm much happier. I think these are much nicer products. Not necessarily nicer, but products that I would like to have. I mean, these colors in general are very, very pretty. Um, perfect holiday and seasonal colors, which is what I was kind of hoping for last month. But I guess you can't make everyone happy all the time. Um, so yeah, I think people who would want this, people who like lip products, if you are a person who prefers eyeshadows, this is not the bag for you. Um, if you like skincare, this is not the bag for you. Strictly if you like to try lip colors from various brands, this might be great for you to try. Um, if you have an Ipsy bag, if you have another subscription service, what might make this slightly lackluster is the fact that you might get like the city color again in another box. So that is something to kind of be aware that a lot of these companies work together um, on the same brands, basically. Well, not together, but they use the same brands. So like Ofra, City Color Cosmetics, um, don't know what else I had, Coastal Scents, that's, or was it, no, Crown, Crown Brushes, they work together, all of them, I believe. So I've seen some of the stuff in Ipsy, some of the stuff in Birchbox. So that's kind of where you're coming into this whole thing. Um, for a value, I'd say it is quite worth the value, $10. You get $34 worth of product, which is great. Um, what else can I say? I mean, the website, there is not really a point system. The website is still in progress, and that's kind of a critique of mine that I had from in my first video that I had created, that um, it just doesn't quite match up. If you wanted to go and purchase the products, you can't easily hop onto their site and let's say you want to purchase the um, Hikari lipstick. You can't just click on that or you can't go to your bag and say, I want to purchase that particular one. You have to go and search it out on your own because not all of the products are on there. I do see them slowly starting to bring those products into their store. The prices are comparable to um, the company's own websites. So I do think that they're heading in the right direction, but it's still just not there yet. But it's still enjoyable. I believe I still have one more month that I'm going to be holding on to this um, subscription with. And then, I don't know, come January, I might have to rethink my influx of products coming in at this point. But, yeah, um, let me know if you have tried Lip Monthly in the past. What has your experience been? What are your criticisms? And if you think that a bag like this will actually be interesting to you guys. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.